What's up, what's up, everybody? You see that neck? It doesn't seem strong enough. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to build a stronger neck and a thicker one. But before doing anything else, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make breakfast. Smash that and I'll come back and tell you how to get a thicker and bigger neck. Breakfast is ready. And as always, we have two scoops of oats, 60 grams with water and a cup of black coffee. These are for after when we're training our neck to get thicker and bigger. We're gonna smash this one, watch some news, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about thicker necks. Breakfast is over. And as always, we're gonna get down to business of me telling you how you're gonna get a bigger neck. So you ready for it? Before we get into the details, first you need to know one thing, and that is whether you have a short neck or a long neck. If your neck is short, I know you're watching this video, which means that you're already convinced that you need like a thicker neck. That would make you more muscular. That's totally fine. But if your neck is short over time, as you work out and do other stuff, the neck is going to get thicker. So you don't want to have a short and thick neck because it just doesn't look good. I know right now you just want thicker, but trust me, if your neck is short, you don't want a thicker neck because then you look really stupid, I guess. Okay. But if your neck is relatively long, then you don't want a thin neck because if you look at mine, my neck is relatively long. So if I have like a thicker neck, then there's a balance. It's all about the balance. If your neck is shorter, you don't have to work on your neck as much. But if your neck is even longer than mine, then you need to even work on it more. So you know how it works, okay. So decide whether you have to work on it or you want to work on it or not based on the length. Then go see other people that you think they have like a thicker neck or like more muscular neck. Then based on that decide whether yours is shorter or longer. And my hair is just all over the place. Whether your neck is shorter or longer and based on that decide how much you need to work on it. Now that we're, we got that out of the way, let's just imagine that you need to work on your neck. Cause if you're not, then go watch my other videos. It says how to build bigger biceps or arms, not your neck. But if you're convinced that you need a thicker neck and you want to look more muscular, then let's continue. I need to give you some details about like the muscles in the neck. You probably know by now. And if you don't, I'll give it to you. There are two main ones, these ones at the front and the ones at the back, like simple. There's no rocket science. If you want to strengthen these ones, the V-shaped ones, that would make it look thicker from the front and also from the side because this side is also visible from the side. Then you need to do neck curls. And I'll show you exactly after this what it means and how it's done. And if you want the back of the neck to be thicker, then you need to do neck extensions. It's almost like the legs, curls and extensions. So as long as you do these two, almost every day or every other day, you should be fine. In fact, that's way more than enough. If you do it every day, I think at some point you're going to have like a pretty thick uh, neck, which is what you want, right? But My phone stopped recording, but let's continue with the fact that if you train your neck just almost like any other muscle every day or every other day or even once a week regularly then over a long enough period of time about like a three months to six months you will see substantial result that being said let me show you exactly how those exercises are done at home not even at the gym because for some reason not that many people train their neck um at the gym and if you start doing it you just you kind of look weird you can do it, you can totally do it if you have the tools and stuff, but um, for some reason, I just feel more comfortable doing it at home because no one's gonna be like, oh, this guy's training his neck, but 
um, that's not even important. That's like a small muscle, right? So it's probably easier to do it at home. It's more comfortable and um, you don't even need anything to do it. So let me show you. Okay, if you do have a couch, here's what you need to do. You go sideways, just like this, with your shoulders and your neck hanging. And then you try to do the curls. If you're trying to bring your head up, so just look for something. Go down, up, down, up. If you feel that this is too easy, you can always push back and make it harder for you. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you can do that for at least 30 reps or um, what, once you feel like the pain or the burn in your neck, then you stop it because neck muscles, in general, neck is not as strong, so you don't wanna overload it as much. You just want to overload it just a little, little bit over like a long period of time with lots of reps. So lower in weight and more in reps. And if you thought that that was too easy for you and you wanted to overload your neck, there are other possibilities too. So if you're at home and you have nothing else or like weights or any other stuff, you can always do the same thing. Put it over there just like before and push down on it. One, two, one, push down, bring it back up. Push down, bring it back up. Push down, bring it back up. So that's one way of doing it. But if you have weights to make it easier for you, you can always put it on top of your head or your on your forehead, but you just have to make sure that you let it rest. I'll show that to you right now because I have like small weight, you start really small. Neck is not something that you want to overload too much because neck injuries are the worst. So you got to be careful. You just do exactly the same thing. Put it right over here and you control it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and you can do it up to like 12 to 15 reps and maybe up to four or five sets on a day that you're trying to train your neck. So that's if you have a weight and if you don't have it, you can always push down with your hand and if you have a couch. But if you don't have any of those things, then I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay. You just lie down, just like this, and you try to bring your neck up, off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's almost as if you're doing like crunches, but not really, just for your neck. If you wanna, and if you want to train back of your neck and if and if you're training back of your neck then you just lie down try to bring yourself up a little bit and then you do one two And you keep doing that till you feel the burn in your neck and or for like up to 30 reps. Okay, now that we went through those exercises, those are the two main ones. Curls and extensions for your neck. But if you also want to do more exercises, you can always do sides for each. Well, I do not recommend that because of your spine. Um, you can still do it with uh, less weight and more reps um, and it will definitely help. Um, with smaller muscles, uh, muscle tissues between the bigger ones that I showed you, the front and the back. So that's also an option. But even better than all of these things, like the first two are really important that you have to work on curls and extension. 
But if you want to go beyond that, just most of the compound moves that you have, like deadlift, uh, squat, and bench, they would automatically work on your neck, even though it's not as much. It's probably like much, uh, like way less than if you were to do curls and extensions. But like generally, working on compound moves would improve your condition and also the size of your neck and your muscularity in general. So focus on those. And beyond that, go after uh, thickening your neck and making it more muscular. With that being said, we're done here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for other routines and exercises, and I will see you in the next video.